Hello everyone and welcome back. My name is Kenneb and today I want to talk about a very important and special game to me. I want to talk about Red Dead Redemption. Now, as you guys probably would have known, the sequel to this game is coming out later on this year, hopefully August. I'm so looking forward to this game and I thought I would dedicate a video to talking about what made Red Dead Redemption such an iconic game to me and probably to millions of people all over, all over the world when it came out many years ago. So the first point I wanted to make was the setting. Now if you guys don't know about uh, anything about Red Dead Redemption it is basically a game set in just before sort of like the mechanical age and the sort of the, the machine age of the Wild West sort of when you've got only a couple of cowboys left and sort of going into more modern times especially with there's a couple of cars in the game you can't actually drive a car yourself but you mostly just horseback and riding the train also obviously a steam engine has been introduced in the game so it's not it's not like really early 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 but it's sort of it's i think it's off memory i think it's 1913 i think or 1912 so it's reasonable, it's like obviously it's almost a hundred years old, this setting when it takes place, but it's quite interesting to see sort of what we were and what we have become now. So yeah. So the second point I wanted to make was talking about the actual developers themselves being Rockstar Games. Now Rockstar are pretty much known for making all the Grand Theft Auto games obviously Red Dead Redemption, and they have made Bully and Max Payne 3. Max Payne 3 wasn't... I really enjoyed Max Payne 3, but I know I got a lot of hate. But Red Dead Redemption, if obviously if you played Grand Theft Auto, you would have known that Red Dead Redemption is pretty much Grand Theft Auto in the old Western times, minus the cars. So all those elements that you can do in Grand Theft Auto, like obviously stealing someone's horses and killing people mercifully, 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 whatever the word is, you can do that sort of stuff as you would in Grand Theft Auto. This is obviously very fun and, well, obviously, like, in game terms, not saying that I'm a sociopath. Um, but doing those sort of things is very enjoyable, and especially exploring... Oh, well, I've noticed that a lot of... One of the main... Like, the, the main things that I do really enjoy about Grand Theft Auto and Red Dead Redemption is the whole exploring part. You can go off and do whatever you want. You can also have a lot of random engagements with people, sort of someone that's saying Red Dead Redemption, someone was being attacked by a group of coyotes. You can go and intervene and kill them. You can also not do anything and drive away. And that's really interesting because it's sort of like a, what would happen if you did intervene? You, you might get attacked yourself or it might be just a ruse and you actually get robbed and killed yourself by other people that are elsewhere that are gonna ambush you once you try and intervene. So it's, it's really interesting. So the third point I wanted to make was talking about the graphics. Now, Red Dead Redemption came out in 2010, which is seven years ago. And honestly, the graphics that were shown in Red Dead Redemption are pretty damn good considering they came out such a long time ago. Honestly, some of the newer games now wouldn't hold up anywhere near to the graphic, the graphical capacity and quality of Red Dead Redemption. It wasn't perfect, but it was it was damn good. So one of the main elements of Red Dead Redemption that I enjoyed the most was the whole character creation and the whole making characters that are likable. They're not sort of very sort of forgettable after you finish playing the game. I still think about John Marston, like I still think about him now and how how much of an impact Red Dead Redemption had on games like story story based games, say the Last of Us, the um, Last of Us, and obviously Last of Us Two is coming out later on. So I feel like making a game that has likable characters and characters that you can empathise with, and characters that you just like in general. Every character, I can't think of one character in Red Dead Redemption that I genuinely hated. Yeah, I genuinely can't think of anyone apart from Seth. I didn't really like Seth. He was a bit sort of rough and tumble. Um, but it's. It is created so such likable characters in this game that I I feel like that is the main one of the main reasons I really enjoy this game because the characters aren't just boring one-sided personal like personality of a house brick sort of characters they're they're likable. 
So obviously one of the main elements of this game, this is a spoiler, I, f I feel like I shouldn't say spoiler, this game came out seven years ago, but John Marston dies three quarters of the way through the game. And I genuinely was very upset when this happened because I know it's a video game, but I really grew to like John Marston as a person and him sort of having this well, redemption of himself after having a very crime-based life and sort of turning his life around, having marrying, marrying this woman and having a child and living out on a farm. He's made a life for himself again and he's put all his past behind him and he's trying to do good now, which, which is really good. So the final point I wanted to talk about was the hunting element in Red Dead Redemption that obviously also was sort of functioned in again to Grand Theft Auto V when you go out hunting as Trevor, hunting deer and that. And the whole premise of hunting in this game was done incredibly well. I think from all the games, including like Assassin's Creed 3 where you do hunt animals, I feel like Red Dead Redemption has got the whole hunting idea and doing it to an extent where they have got it down packed and I feel like they have done the best sort of hunting element in a game to date that I can think of. I really enjoyed hunting animals in general, especially cougars when they sort of come up behind and they sort of come out of nowhere. That, that's another thing I do like about Red Dead Redemption. It's, it really feels like the old west, like what it, what it would be like living in there. Anything could kill you. I remember walking down, just sort of wandering around and a cougar just coming out of nowhere and killing me. And I feel like obviously like that wouldn't happen all the time, but I feel like the uncertainty would be quite prominent in the old, the wild west sort of, you don't know what's going to happen tomorrow. You could wake up dead or whatever. I remember, um, in the movie million ways to die in the west, how he talks about all the different possible ways. And honestly, I feel like most of those would be correct because it was, there was so much an uncertainty in the wild west. You could pretty much die from anything and putting that into a game is really interesting and to be honest a little bit well it is it is sort of funny to sort of like walk out and then all of a sudden you get friggin killed by a cougar but it's it's really interesting to see what it would have been what it would have been like obviously it would have been horrible living in the wild west with living with that uncertainty and all the diseases and everything pretty much dying from any disease known so but it's interesting to get a perspective of what it would have been like all right, guys, I may have rambled a little bit in this in this video, but I wanted to talk about Red Dead Redemption. I've been wanting to do a video on this for a while because, like I said earlier, this game shaped my whole video game experience and why I enjoy playing video games so much. So if you do agree with anything I say, if you love Red Dead Redemption as I do, don't forget to leave a like. If I'm new to you, don't forget to subscribe. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.